Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the biggest problem with Marvel Strike Force and why today's current content creators are contributing to that issue. So the biggest problem with this game is obviously the microtransactions and how expensive and in your face they are. So I'm just going to go down to the offers button and see, that, see what we're working with today. I'm not going to go through all of these, but I'm just going to show you a couple to just drive home the point that these are ridiculous offers and no one should ever buy these. So the first one that we have is Black Widow and you can get Black Widow 45 shards for the small price of $25. And the only reason this is here is because the Iron Man legendary event is, is coming up pretty soon and you have to get five five star shield members. 25 bucks for 45 shards. So it'd be $50 for 90 shards. $50 for 90 shards of one character. You can buy a brand new video game for $50 that has hours of content and Foxnex wants you to use $25, almost $50 for two purchases to get 90 shards of one single character in their game. It is simply ridiculous. This one down here. We have three premium orbs, three gold orbs, and three training orbs. Now, remember with the orbs, it's all RNG. So sometimes with the gold, you can get a million. Most of the time, it's like the 70,000 and a couple of 30,000s. So this is, these are basically just loot boxes, these orbs. So you're getting nine loot boxes for $20. And mind you, this says that it says it's over, save over 50%. So this originally, nine loot boxes would have been $40. Nine loot boxes for $40. I, I, it's ridiculous. It's same with uh, the gold. You know, it's not guaranteed. You don't know what you're going to get. You don't know what you're going to get with the premiums or the training orbs. It's ridiculous. Now this one right here is probably uh, the worst defender, probably the most popular uh, offer that they have right now. And it's the red star orbs. You get two red star orbs uh, to boost your team power. And each has a chance to give you a seven star promotion. Now the actual chance is like less than 1%, I think. If you want to go and check it out, uh, you just have to go into the wherever you find the, the red star uh, percentages so you use ten dollars to get two red star orbs or two loot boxes ten dollars for two and this one i said is the biggest culprit because in order to be competitive in this game uh, you need red stars because they boost your character's power so much you can have seven or five seven star characters with no red stars and lose to lower star lower star characters that have more red stars if that makes sense just be, that just shows you how powerful they are and if you're a whale if you're a top competitive player you're going to be spending three purchases of ten dollars so thirty dollars try and get these red stars to boost up your team and then if you get, you know, some duplicates, you're going to get the extra shards to get even more. And it's just a continuous cycle of giving Foxnex this money for these loot boxes that make your team better. So it's completely random. If I spent all this money, I could be one of the best players in the world just because I have the most red stars and the highest power team. And I'm not going to go through the rest of these, but you, if you're just looking at them, take a look and see how much you're really saving. Save 40% off. So this would originally be, uh, what, maybe like $18, $17? You know, save 50% off. Oh, that would have been $50. We have Storm, more loot boxes for $30, six loot boxes for $30. And you can go on and on. I mean, you guys know how ridiculous some of these are when you look at some of the prices. Now the biggest issue with all of this stuff is that 
the current high rated players, the current content creators are contributing to this problem. They are probably the biggest contributors out of anyone else. And I say that because the big YouTubers obviously have an audience. You know, I watch them. I'm sure some of you guys watch them. They're bringing out all of these statistics uh, for the characters, tier lists, all, you know, how many certain uh, materials you need for, you know, each character to unlock. And they do offer some, you know, some good services th that are free. They don't, they don't charge. They're free to whoever wants to use them. And uh, they do, you know, give the community back uh, some good resources. So that's a positive. However, the negative is that they are shilling out so much money to get their teams this powerful that it's just feeding into Fox Next, Fox Next's greediness. And when they're spending all of this money, Fox Next is thinking, wow, people are actually buying all of this garbage that we're offering. People are buying these uh, $25 Black Widow shards because they just got to get her to seven stars so she can be a little bit more powerful for my team. Wow, people are really doing a lot of this Red Star stuff because we know that they need to beef up their their squads so that they can get past into the darkness or fear the darkness. They just need that little extra to get there. Wow, people are really buying all of these power cores for a hundred dollars because they're going to use them for campaign refreshes or different red star orbs uh, that they can purchase with with power cores and stuff like that so the big youtubers are all pumping in all of this money and fox next is realizing hey this is just one continuous circle we're going to get money from the whales no matter what they got to get all of the characters they got to get them all up to seven stars. They got to get all of the the gear up to gear 10 or 11. They got to get Ultron. Everyone's got to get Ultron. And uh, it's just ridiculous, you know, and that's the problem. It's just one continuous circle. You know, I, I've seen people talk about buying Colossus. Why even do the blood? Just buy them. Buy the shard. Buy the orbs. Same with the Koye and Baku, Minerva, all the Blitz characters. Uh, so that they can get, you know, the Magnetos and the Shuris and the Ultrons, just so they can get the higher the higher characters. Uh, and you also have to realize that these YouTube creators have, you know, they have careers. You know, this is probably, you know, maybe maybe not their main job, but a part time job. They're earning money based on the views that they're getting, and you know, all of the things that they're putting out for the community. People are checking that stuff out, ad revenue, etc., etc., Patreons. So they have to support themselves, you know, and I understand that. But they're also feeding into the game. They're also, you know, purchasing all of these terrible offers so that they can keep their channels up to date, so they can make sure that you know, Colossus, where is he going to fit on the tier list of characters? What kind of materials do you need? Is it worth it to invest, you know, six? Uh, is it worth it to get him up to 6664 or whatever? And it prevents Fox Nex from changing anything because they're still getting that money. They're still getting that big money from all of the top YouTube uh, creators or the content creators, all the whales, basically, and uh, it's it sucks for the rest of us because, you know, if there was, if there was actually a deal, you know, like let's say, there's a Black Widow deal. Maybe it was five dollars for, I don't know, fifty shards. Maybe maybe that would be something that would be interesting for me. Maybe I would purchase that. I don't know. But when you're putting a character shard, character shards, a 25 bucks, there's no way. It's laughable. I look back at $25, and I remember when I bought the Witcher 3 uh, Blood and Wine 
DLC expansion. It was like $20, and that's hours of content, worlds that were created, storylines, voice, voice actors, and they want $25 for 45 shards. It's ridiculous. Now, I know this is a free-to-play game, and this is the way that they make money, and if the big YouTubers or the whales weren't, you know, making all these purchases, the game would probably die out. Let's just be real. If everyone was free to play, they wouldn't make any money. And that's the harsh reality of it. You know, that's the harsh reality of some of these free to play games. If everyone was like me and didn't buy anything, the game would suffer and probably not be worth updating. And that that's just how business is. If the game isn't making money for, for the business, then uh, the, the game, the business isn't going to support the game. They're not going to be giving out any new characters or doing any updates or bringing in war or changing the Red Star system or any, anything like that. And so that's important to keep in mind as well. And I think that the content creators, the whales, know this. Uh, they have to shill out their money so that Fox Next, you know, can get a profit and keep on making content uh, for the regular people like, like us who, who are just free to play. And that's just the reality of it. Unfortunately, I don't think this problem is ever going to be solved. And, you know, it's a, it's a current problem with free to play games and now uh, games as services. Free to play players do get to take advantage of that. If, if the whales weren't you know, playing and giving all their money away, then I couldn't enjoy this game. To me, for Fox Next, I'm just a free-to-play player. I have invested zero dollars in this game. Uh, so I'm a pretty, I consume it, but I'm not, they're not getting a good return on investment for me and probably for a lot of you as well. I enjoy playing the game. I love, I like the game. I love the game. Uh, but you know, these are just ridiculous, ridiculous offers. If there were offers, like I mentioned, you know, the character shards were actually valued as a couple of dollars. These aren't microtransactions. These are macro transactions. If these were actually microtransactions, then maybe I would spend $5 every month or something. Something, you know, not too crazy. Um... But right now, no, there's no way that any average person should be shilling out this kind of money. And it's just a, it's just the circle of, of free-to-play games, and it's not going to go away anytime soon. The whales are still going to spend. They're going to, everyone's going to complain about some of the practices that Fox Next is doing, but the whales and the content creators are still going to be Getting, giving their money to Fox Next. So Fox Next can do whatever they want and basically, for the most part, probably get away with it because they know that they're going to keep on getting that, that cash flow when they need it. So that's the biggest issue with this game and a lot of free-to-play games that I've played. Um, I don't think it's going to go away anytime soon. Uh... You know, I mean, it's Fox. Ne it's how Fox Next survives, and they, it's obviously been working because the game has been out for I think over a year now. I think that's we've had the one year anniversary event, so it's been over out oh, for over a year. It's still making money. They're still putting out content. Uh, so, you know, if if there's any you know group that you you have to look at, it's the whales. But if the whales weren't spending the money on the game, then Fox Next wouldn't support the game. So it's it's hard to criticize who is to blame. Um, it's I don't know. It's it's just it's kind of just one of those things. It's confusing. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make this video because it's it's just been something I've been thinking about. Uh, you know, I, I go onto the the subreddits and the discords, and a lot of people are complaining about 
about stuff but you know what if the whales weren't spending then we wouldn't be playing so it's just one of those things you know uh yeah i hope this just this video just kind of maybe opened some people's eyes to i don't know just the business of free-to-play games it kind of sucks but it is what it is and uh yeah i just wanted to kind of get this off my chest if you guys have any comments or or questions or maybe your idea of what Fox Next could do or to entice you to maybe buy a couple of things at lower prices, maybe actual microtransactions, uh, leave a comment down below. I'd be interesting to see how much an average person would be willing to spend on like that 45 character shards of Black Widow. It'd just be interesting to see what people would be willing to actually uh, spend of what they think a good value would be for that. So yeah, if you have any comments uh, Leave them down below if you like my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you agreed or disagreed with me you can either like or dislike and I'll definitely be making uh, Some more videos on this just to see how outrageous some of these offers are but uh yeah, it's kind of funny to just look at some of these and be like, my God, I could buy, you know, this much for $50 other than character shards. But anyway, thanks you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Have a good day.